that's the same thing, yeah. And we are live. So welcome to the January 2022 ENSO seminar. This will be our, our first seminar of the new year. So I hope that everyone has had an opportunity to um, enjoy the, the, the break or the celebrations if you've been celebrating over the, the festive season. Um, I am very lucky to be joined today by Professor Tetsuyo Kono from Mikio University. Uh, Professor Kono has a, a background in the phenomenology of embodiment and a, a career examining embodiment and um, health and disability and also skill and performance. And so we are um, very lucky to be joined by Professor Kono to discuss some aspects of a, a particular um, aspect of performance that um, I have become interested in and some of indeed some some I think very interesting implications of how we might conceive of and um, uh, sort of conceptualize um, the self and the mind and the relationship between the mind and the world um, as we move forward in a um, in, in a manner that it sort of adequately and, and properly acknowledges the, the dynamic character of it. So um, I will, we, we might, we have a sort of a, a few people now who are um, joining us live. So Professor Kono, I don't know if, um, if you have, can you, you can I just double check, I guess that you, you can hear me okay and, and I can hear you. Yes, yep. yes. Perfect, okay. So okay. in that case, I would invite you to present the January 2022 ENSO seminar. Yeah. Thank you. So um, can I start? Shall, I, shall we start? Um, yes, please, thank you. Okay, yes. I'm very, uh, uh, first of all, Happy New Year to you all. And I'm very pleased to be here and deeply appreciate Professor uh, Marek Magan and also Professor Matthew Egbert for inviting me to this seminar. So I'm looking forward to speak in front of you all. And uh, let, let me uh, first introduce myself a little bit. Uh, normally my research area is a bit close to philosophy of mind and also phenomenology of embodiment, but uh, incorporating experimental result from psychology and cognitive science. In fact, I usually work with a lot of psychologists and cognitive scientists. Uh, for example, please check out this. Um, this is collaborative research project. Uh, this is a comparative cultural study of face and body expression involving about 200 researchers in the field of psychology, neuroscience, uh, cultural anthropology, sports studies, and philosophy. It receives a, a largest funding from the government of uh, Japan and humanities. And many researchers from abroad are participating in this project. For example, in the field of philosophy of mind, for example, Sean Gallagher, Tony Cemero, and others. Today, my theme is the inactive inaction or interaction between the self and the environment. And I will like to present a new view of self through a phenomenological interpretation of classical Japanese aesthetic. So it's a quite experimental and it's just a talk to raise a topic. So please uh, forgive me if there are some still something that I haven't Walk out yet. So uh, this is outline like this. So um, so first, um, the purpose of my presentation is uh, uh, the topic is like this: uh, a meteorological or oceanographic approach to the self. It's a strange. It sounds strange. Uh, it is through an interpretation of the gap of the army. Maybe uh, some of you know, uh, know uh, Zeami, uh, Motokiyo Zeami, uh, the figure of 14th century and 15th century, was the most important figure of North Seattle. 
He was a distinguished actor, playwright, and esthetician who established the so called Mugen no style, no of dream and illusion. No, um, maybe most of you don't know very well about No Theater. No is a musical and dance drama performed to the accompaniment of Utai, song and lines, and Hayashi, musical instrument. The character was not only humans being, human beings, but also gods, demons, monsters, ghosts, and other unusual creatures. And the performers used simple stylized movement to ex express their emotions as the story unfolds. One of the char characteristic know is that the performer wear masks in many pieces. So let me explain uh, Mugen no. No carry can be roughly divided in two types, a Genzai no and Mugen no. In con contrast to Genzai no, in which only living people appears, Mugen no, actually, uh, the scenario of 80% of the scenario of no is Mugen no style, in which spiritual being play a main role is a particularly characteristic of no. Its typical structure is as follows. Uh, the plot is as, fo as, as follows. When a traveling monk called Waki, a secondary role, visit a place of historic interest, a character, Maeshite, appears and tell him uh, normally, monk are always male. A story about the place, but uh, but she or uh, she or he uh, tells the story as if it was someone else, and then disappear. But in fact, she or he is an important part of the story. This is Mary taking a form of real woman or old man or otherwise, uh, and the city. Uh, exit from the stage is called naka, na, uh, naka, Nakairi. Then, as Waki waits, a person from the previous scene appears, uh, revealing him or her true spiritual form, such as ghost to God or spiritual uh, spirit of plants and trees. And in, in most cases, case, a dance is performed at the climax. And the name, the name Mugenno is derived from the fact the spiritual being appears, in fact, in the dream of Zawaki. So it is a dream of monk. So uh, maybe, you know, uh, like this mask and uh, beautiful uh, clothes. This is Tsuchigumo. Uh, this is Krokoano. It is a, a one of the local style uh, of, no? Oh, sorry. Like this, and you know, oh, the uh, left hand is uh, no stage, and right, you, you know, the many masks that uh, performer uses on the stage. Sometimes, uh, takigino is a uh, no uh, played uh, uh, performed uh, outside in the garden or in the sand park, something like that. So, um, so uh, Ziyami believes that in order for a performance to attract the audience, the audience and performer must be of one mind. However, the test, uh, uh, taste of audience varies widely according to regions, social classes, and perso uh, personal inclination. It is impossible to act in response to all these differences. So how can the audience and the performer unite one at their minds? This is where, uh, where he came up with the idea of Zayami uh, came up with a, creating, a, creating a gap in the performance. The word tr uh, translated here as gap is in Japanese, senohima, in the original text. Senohima means an empty time or moment when one does, does nothing. In my talk, I shall interpret them the concept of gap Senohima and make clear why the gap attracts the audience and the audience and the performer of, uh, of, of one, one mind. By explaining uh, uh, the concept of gap, I would like to propose an approach to a view of a self that try to understand self by using a model of dynamic fluid rather than a solid with clear contours. The study of the self would 
then be the equivalent of meteorology or the physical oceanography of currents. Finally, I would like to outline relationship between the environment and self using weather and currents at models. So uh, first time, uh, second section, the concept of gap. I'll explain the concept of gap. The MROs is the following important section of, from Kakyo, uh, 14, uh, 1424, and that is on, on binding the many arts with a single intent. Uh, I quote, the critics, uh, in the critics, member of the, um, members of the audience often say that plays fear nothing is done it are interesting. This is a secret strategy then, of actors, of, of the actor. The gap between fear, they, as they say, nothing is done. When you consider why it is that this gap where nothing is done should be interesting, you will find that this is because of an underlying disposition by which the mind bridges the gap. In the frame of mind in which you maintain your in intent and do not loosen your concentration in the gap, where you've stopped dancing and the dance in the place where you've stopped singing in the music, the gap between all the type of speech and dramatic imitation and so on. This internal excitement diffuses outward and creates interest. However, it should be apparent to others that you have adopted this frame of mind that is no good. If, if it becomes apparent, then it is likely to turn into a dramatic technique in itself, then it is no longer doing nothing. At the rank of no mind, Mushin, one bridges the gap between what comes before and after with a such strategy, so that one's intent even hidden from the oneself. This then is uh, binding many arts with a uh, single intent. intent. So Senohima means, uh, I interpret, uh, 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 empty time moment when one does nothing. However, it is not a relaxed break for no performer, but rather an extremely tense and fulfilling one. The reason why the audience often says the place where well, nothing is done, nothing is then uh, interesting, is that in this Hima, this gap, the audience resonates with the full, uh, fullness of tension sustained by the performer. For the dance chant and phrase that appeared on the stage as behavior, the audience treats them with distance and focus on their evaluation. On the other hand, for the behavior that remain latent in Senohima, the audience expect and envisions the performer's next move, waits for the next voice, and join in the preparation for the voice. The audience, along with the performer, will hold their breath and maintain tension so-called uh, internal excitement. In this way, the audience is caught up with a, a whirlpool of the performance dance from by Senohima. So therefore, uh, therefore, if this Senohima intentionally performs a stage of doing nothing, it becomes a behavior of stopping or staying. When the audience sees this, they appreciate it objectively and critically. The audience keeps a critical distance from the performer and does not resonate with the performer's body. Then the human must be uh, intentional waiting. The emptiness, which is the gap between performer and the audience, attracts the audience, and the audience projects themselves onto the emptiness. If a uh, performer shows uh, this demeter and mood that she can perform the next move and speech, speak uh, his line at any, uh, any time, but deliberately hold back, the audience will detect his intention of stopping or staying. So on all mind, as it is necessary for the performers themselves to stay expecting that next movement or, or chant to come out of their own accord and make the audience feel this. In other words, it is as if the dance and chant are autonomous and self-moving rocking in the performer's mind until the moment is right, rape. It is not a matter of holding back and waiting for the next intentional deliberate move, a movement, but of waiting one's own body to start moving naturally, spontaneously. In other words, it is not a, it is not a stillness in a so-called no-mind state. 
that is too sad. Uh, to let oneself be carried away by the uh, certain flow of rhythm. This is a musicality of no performance. To create a senohima on a stage is to get one's body in tune ways or resonate with the music played and chanted by Jiutai chanters and on the ensemble. Oh, Single-minded. However, what is even more interesting is that it is during this Senohima that he says binding many arts with a single mind or single intent. Here, single-mindedness refers to the single intent. It is the moment that unites and binds the skills toward in the performance body. Then it follows the previous quote by using as example a puppet to illustrate this point. The puppet do not move automatically, but by the action of the strings that control them. The various performance and techniques are artificial puppets. The mind that controls them, it must not be seen by others. If the mind is visible, the audience will lose intent and not able to immerse themselves in the play, just, just as if the strings are visible in the puppet show. Uh, I quote it. In order to unite technique and uh, make a performance and expression of the true self rather than a representation of something else, a gap is inevitably necessary. Senohima is therefore mind is a state of tension in which we are doing nothing and other be uh, behavior remain in a latent state. It is this uh, mind that others are attracted to and try to project on, the, uh, on their own mind it's a mind that can be involve others. And this is prepared by the chanting and music that is shared by the audience and the performers. This single-mindedness is not simply a simple sympathy, empathy, or compassion, just as the performers skill uh, tried together in the Senohima. The audience body is also drawn into that Senohima. If sympathy is by definition, the si simultaneous resonance between the bodies uh, and then in Senohima, the audience body is pretending to be the performers with small delay. The audience is drawn, drawn in by the performer's dance and remits its internally. When one person in, uh, initiates one action, the other person respond to it, responds to it with a successive timing and the action of the two party, uh, parties meshing in time. So to play in, uh, in, in an ensemble is not uh, much notes, but too much breath and pauses. The art of ensemble plays in the art of pausing. However, matching pauses does not mean the multiple people are fused into one thing. Rather, it is what K and the field are felt, called participatory discrepancies, are essential to music. Playing, music playing. Participatory discrepancy as a subtle gap, the slight musical difference and the disagreement that arises be between performers while they are playing the same piece. So a good pause hima means that the pacing is appropriate. A pause is something that is improv uh, improvised on the spot of echoing the other person's response. And that other person's response is determined by the pause. A pause is not a fixed, fixed place and or time, but a creation of certain flow that can only occur on that occasion and with that, that other person. The single-mindedness between performer, uh, performers and the audience is a temporal phenomenon. Time is a continuous process, of course. This is a no past or future, future present in objective time. But as durations and changes occur in the world, yet there is no natural separation of uh, present, past, and future in this continuum. This is an act of human being to make, make a break in the continuity of time. On a hot summer day, it is the utterance itself that brings about the past tense. It was hot today. The temperature is descending continuously, and there's no such, such break in the nature as it was hot. 
So it is the uh, utterance itself that makes a uh, uh, it was hot day. The performance doing nothing during Senohima is attempt to, to create a present as an interval to make something pass and to anticipate something arriving in the future. This is a creation of the present as potential between uh, the past and the future. In his phenomenology perception, Meroponti writes, uh, wrote, uh, time is uh, affecting of, of self by self, but exert and the effect as a thrust and uh, passing towards the future, but is affected the time as an unfolded series of present. This seems to be a very good description of Senohima. It is uh, pre uh, precisely this temporality that the audience experience with performers. In the section called dance has its root in the voice uh, of Kakyo, the M say, uh, says as follows, the wrote as, as follows. Unless the dance emerges from the singing voice, there is unlikely to be any excitement. In the transition of which one moves from, uh, from the atmosphere of the essay. Okay. Oh, and thus, in inception of dance is to be found in a way that the character moves the five body components in response to the voice that emerges from the five vital organs. Let, uh, let it be uh, enough for you to understand that unless there is a sufficient power in the singing, the dance will not create excitement. So um, here to empathize on the world that express a gap or interval, such as transition and the resolution. The surplus for, uh, after note has, has been cut off and the next note is introduced. It can be said that Senohima or the gap, the music, the music that uh, what makes it exciting. The gap in the music, according to Zayami, come from the rhythm of the movement of five, uh, five possible uh, body, head, hands, and feet. It is in response to the voice of five organs, lung, heart, uh, garden, spleen, and kidney. So uh, thus, musicality is a resonance between internal part of the human body and the rims. The uh, further state is that musicality of human body is correspond to the rhythm of surrounding that is expressed by the chant and the, is the ensemble. The dance is a dance with a uh, power of music, otherwise it could have no power. And the musicality is uh, ultimately resonance be, uh, between the rhythm of the human body and that of the universe. So, uh, in the final part of this presentation, I shall offer some preliminary ideas about the relationship body and the world using a perspective of Zami. I shall be focusing on the idea that the musicality of the human body has corresponded in the rhythm of the universe and uh, attempt to de depict uh, the relationship between the environment and self using weather and currents as models. Uh, let's imagine that uh, the environment is all fluid. The environment, like we are, like we are uh, fish in the sea, the environment is a fruit made up various mediums. My body also also fruit like jellyfish, and the vortex that maintains a certain identity within it. In this environment, flows of various sides are gen generated in the various media. Some of them circulate as the vortex and maintain the constant shape while others flow in a large, uh, large portions do not maintain a constant shape. Some flows and ants are slow and heavy, others are fast and light. The viscosity of the fluid also differs from place to place. The, all, oh, sorry. the all, all, uh, overall move, uh, movements of the fluid in a given place somehow uh, direct me into a certain direction. I am drawn into that flow. This feeling of being drawn in, in, drawn in is called an unfeeling meaning. Prior to the individual, uh, individual meaning of the objects in the environment, I feel a vague intuition that there is something important here as a whole of a uh, flow of the whole. It is a weak perception of objectivity, like sensing an atmosphere. On my part, rather than having a clear intention, 
I am in a vague mood with no clear direction yet. This is still uh, some time to go before uh, before I can before I can contact with the various will in my environment. However, as I step into the environment, it changes. I push the floor beneath on my fe uh, feet with my weight. I push the air around me to create a slight breeze, and I breathe in and out. I uh, perspire. Uh, spire. At first, there is uh, uh, there this effect em emanating from the vortex that is me, seem to have no effect on the larger vortex vort uh, vortices, vortices around me. When I take action and insert part of myself into a certain vortex that exists in the environment, a certain change occurs from that vortex, and it, be it begins to move and flow differently than before. There is certain stability and irregularity uh, to the changes, and we are able to predict and use the changes in the vortex. In this way, the flow from, the one, uh, from one's own vortex, the outflow from the vortex that shadowed uh, it, create a constant stable uh, uh, cyclical uh, current. Coupling with some vortex, uh, vortexes persist, coupling with others subside, and uh, phases of transition to others' vortex emerge. The vortex that is me detaches from uh, detach it from the part of uh, environment and expand from there, creating a boundary with the part of environment. At the same time, prompt, uh, prompted by the vibration arriving from uh, uh, elsewhere, elsewhere in the environment, I couple with the affordance of other, other vortexes. Sometimes the previous vortexes, uh, vortices break up and couple with smaller vortices. In the environment, larger currents than the uh, various smaller eddies can read me into the certain direction. However, it is also possible for me to pull myself away from the larger uh, current and turn myself towards a uh, larger current in a different direction by letting myself be carried away by the depth barrier uh, both sides in the environment. What is necessary for such, uh, uh, such a change of direction is take a pause. Taking pause is to maintain gap, the possibility, uh, possibility of moving from one aspect of an to another while being caught in the coupling with the vortex of the environment. It is an ex, uh, exercise, uh, exercise that uh, dynamism in, in, in between on between, uh, or being attracted to each other while maintaining distance. In the dynamism of the in-between, there is a sustained musical current and there is a recurrence of the similar uh, uh, that is rhythm that cuts it off and re, uh, returns it to the initial, initial state. The advantage of viewing environmental self as a fluid is uh, that it is easier, easier to understand this distance, distance, distance connection or this, uh, disconnected persistence. The difference in rhythm is what creates a boundary between the, uh, the environment and self, which flows and changes. The difference in the pitch of uh, whirlpool pulls you away from the whirl, uh, whirlpool, another whirlpool. The reason returns to its initial state and uh, uh, diversifies itself from the point, that point. It is a repetition of, of difference. The in-between means that such differentiation, which moves into the other phases, is always in the state of waiting. The transition occurs when the rhythmic shift in the synchronization with the environment increases. This shift is caused by the change in the speed of the rhythm. Uh, Zem Senohima is a technique that allows people to share rhythm that is not perfectly synchronized and had a gap in its musicality. This rhythm allows people to repeat their own difference. This is a creation of present as a potential between past and uh, between past the past and the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, that, uh, that, that's a, a really rich and I think 
for me, as I've I've already said to you privately, a, a compelling picture and uh, conceptualization of the the very notions of our our experiences of of both self and relationship with the environment, and also some really interesting issues coming out there about uh, the very notion of what action is, um, yes. which I think both is demanded by an, an active perspective and and given sort of nice articulation, um, very nice articulation there. I think there's a lot of, of work still to be done um, in this area, as, as you've said. So it's fascinating to see this come up through the medium of no theatre and and um, people's experiences, you know, the, the performances of um, and understandings of those kinds of performance. Um, so it, one of the things that really strikes me as um, interesting here, and I'm, I'm just kind of curious as to see whether you would agree with this way of, of describing it, maybe in terms of trying to describe some of the differences of this way of thinking about the self or the mind and the kind of more broadly discussed, at least within a kind of European and Western um, traditions, is the self in this way is uh, in a sense heavy, um, yeah. whereas the, 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 the Western, you know, the, 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 the <laughs> so commonly discussed one is the self is almost light, it's ephemeral, it is easily pushed around. But in this, um, the, particularly when you were discussing the notion of the gap, um, that the, both the performer and the audience are um, drawn into the gap almost because what they are doing has momentum mm -hmm. uh, and they are in the middle of an action and there might be a pause, a, a kind of a, a, a moment of doing nothing, but that pause is full of direction. Um, <laughs> yeah. and, and that almost, you know, there is this kind of moment, a brief moment of, well, everyone knows what's coming next and we're all made more aware of it by the pause because we are already in the flow you know you can't stop the self suddenly um so that that difference does that seem like a fair description the difference between a, a heavy or kind of momentum filled and light um conception of the self yes um i yes it's true so um but in my thinking, uh, basically, uh, European uh, metaphysics is made on form and matter, right? Form and matter. So something uh, is a, a material that is, is can uh, transform, and there is a form that put up for, uh, the contours on it. But um, I want to think, think the, uh, uh, the world a different way from rhythm and music. Mm. So um, then the information also is a, a kind of rhythm and, and that rhythm is, uh, and music is a, a matter and form is, is, is one thing actually, isn't it? So that is, um, uh, I want to propose a new, a kind of new metaphysic, maybe new, uh, how to say, uh, ontology that can explain the relationship between self and the, um, uh, on the board. The, um, the metaphysics of form and matter, uh, the, the human beings are also, human ego is also something around the things, that solid thing, and with form and matter. And other, there is other things on, on, the, on, the, on the world that uh, and separate each other. But uh, if you, you, you think that uh, there is a, uh, you know, medias, the universe is a kind of media and everything is a kind of vortex or how to wave or some, you know, or the transformation with information. Uh, we have had a bit, very different ideas of self uh, relationship between self and the world. So Senhima, do you know, do you understand well? It's kind of, it's a center of the vortex. So everybody go, go, go into, uh, you know, involved to uh, one thing, to the, the center of the, uh, and at the center, there is actually uh, nothing. So there is not the essence on it, but uh, in it, but uh, there is nothing and the vortex and go into the center. So this is uh, my idea. So um, 
of course, they are me. I don't know the, the contemporary physics or some, uh, uh, of course, uh, this kind of new ontology. Yeah. But uh, I, from the interpretation of they are me, they are propose this kind of um, view of human bodies and human self and also the relationship between uh, the environment. Mm. Yeah. So uh, the, I, I do, um, actually, yeah, no, I, I was going to ask a different question, but just to follow on from what you've said there, the, there is a, an interest, can I ask then about um, how to best con conceive of the notion of the gap in terms of these vortices that you were talking about? Because if there's one, so is when we think about the, the gap in the performance, um that gap can't be the or is that the gap at the center of the vortex or does the you know be given that a flow has no gap um, um is there a way to conceive of the gap in terms of currents and flows um or is it um and i guess it, do we want to avoid confusing the 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 you know the absence at the center of a vortex with mm -hmm. the gap we want to be careful not to put these two things together or should we put them together yeah okay um yes um, my explanation is uh not clear so um the center the gap is uh something non-intentional doing nothing yeah and wait it's a uh, it's not intentional waiting but waiting the uh next wave or next okay. uh, movement from inside. So um, that is uh, the total uh, atmosphere, at well, atmosphere, the, the environment is a kind of, you know, a music. Mm. So the, the performer waiting, not waiting, not the intentional waiting, but, you know, uh, it's a kind of waiting, the spontaneous musicality uh, that resonate well, that that poem is, is himself and or herself uh, and the environment, the waiting the music of the uh, the world, mm -hmm. that is a uh, you know, kind of gap. Okay. So it is a changing point of the uh, you know, or the rhythm of the world. So rhythms of the world changes, so uh, that he stops and waiting the next wave. It's like a surfing. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like surfing, waiting the wave. Yeah. So on 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 the sea. Yeah. So um that is uh Senohima. Then then we are watching that. We are we are not we don't take a distance from the performance may uh but uh, we are also involving in that and the waiting. Mm. Actually, it's not waiting. Waiting is not is not a good word, <laughs> but but I, I don't I, I can't I, find a very good word good yeah. word to to describe this this moment this point. I, I think I understand more clearly. I think it is um, it it it's almost so. If if as my understanding is is now, um, it's that kind of making oneself passive or sensitive to something new or something something different or something coming yes um, and it, it, it is passive to, yes yes sorry, yeah. so it, it links to an interesting definition of action which again runs counter to a, a kind of traditional particularly a cognitivist or computational model where if we imagine the mind as in the head and actions are commands sent to the body then there is this sort of very much an outward direction of action. Action starts centrally and is moves towards the periphery. Whereas in the, the current, you know, the notion of currents and, and uh, movements and vortices, conception of action, action is about um, making oneself subject to other currents. So there, there is always, I'm never going from nothing to something, but I'm always going from something, the, the vortex in which I am currently coupled and, and involved to another vortex that is already happening, but I am now sort of joining in with it or, or the currents are, are flowing together in some way. And the, so it's a, 
um, it's always a joining in of something already existing, um, which is a, a kind of, again, an interesting shift or change in the way that the action is conceived, I think, um, to, to my mind, it seems to, um, am I understanding correctly? Yes, yes, I think uh, you're correct. But I want to add, it is waiting, but uh, we think waiting a new way, but it is the performer that creates the, the environment. Okay. You understand? Mm. You, uh, the performer makes the environment, a change of environment, and waiting a new wave. Therefore, how to say, it is the performer in a state that that cannot be called nor active, nor uh, neither active nor passive. It is a boss. <laughs> Uh, actively waiting, <laughs> so something different, <laughs> strange, but actively waiting. So uh, waiting for the next wave in Bible that he creates that wave. Okay. So um, it is a recursive, uh, recursive interaction. So first they, uh, the performer said, do not something to the pop, uh, the audience and the environment. And, and um, there he's uh, you know, the performer waiting something from the audience and the music uh, uh, to the prayers. So it is very recursive one. So maybe some, the, yes, okay, yes. Okay. It's, it is interesting actually because it, um, it, I think it makes clear and explicit something that is very important about action, um, which is that doing nothing is very difficult. Um, that we, it's so again, you know, it, it is so commonly easy to describe action as well. I'm doing nothing and then I'm acting. Um, but in fact, if you look at children or any of us, when we are learning a new skill, um, then we are, you know, constantly moving. And <laughs> yeah. actually doing less is harder than doing more. And yes. it, was, it was one of the characteristics of the very highly skilled is that they they do things so well, they barely move. You know, when you see um, good actors, often, you know, they, they, you, as you say, um, the, the really good actors, you cannot see their technique because it is invisible or sports performers, they do less yes. than, rather than doing more. And so there is a, um, a kind of a really nice making explicit of this relationship um, that you know doing doing nothing is as you say um, doing something very much <laughs> is very much doing something um, yeah. yes uh, you are right um, I'm completely agree with you so uh, slow movement very slow movement is a characteristic of no play but it requires a great deal of training mm. very difficult and hard stop and very slow moving it uh, easier uh, fast moving is easier and very slow and uh, relaxed movement is much much harder to do mm. so um this is a uh, uh, result of training and a consequence of training and also i think um yes one thing so. you can say the same thing about for example martial arts and uh, boxing or same, uh, you know, uh, dual uh, sport. Mm -hmm. You must not show your move before you are, before your uh, attack, mm -hmm. isn't it? If you go back and punch, this is a, a kind of preparation and the opponent uh, can easily pre perceive what you are doing, you, you want to do. So with that no movement, he suddenly then jab, right? So no preparation, no no pulling or something like that. So um, I think uh, no play is a bit close to a kind of martial arts or sport playing, very close to their movement is very close to, uh, yes, uh, that kind of sport. Mm. And I guess that that somewhat brings me in, but it's a as you say, it's it is very similar to a sport, but yeah. in this case, um, the opponent is the audience, 
Yes, so, <laughs> exactly. It, it struck me that while um, there, there was a lot of discussion of the role and the importance of what the audience did in, the, in, in your talk, so that it, it sort of brought home to me that being an audience member oh. is a difficult skill that all, all also must um, be practiced and, and we must you know, try to get better at. So I wondered how much the, it, was, it was necessary for the moment of um, uh, the, the Senuhima that the audience already understands or knows what the story is or, or understands or knows uh, what the, the story is likely to be because of traditional um, you know, shapes to story or, or, or traditional progression. Mm -hmm. So is, can someone who is not um, already well versed or, or you know, really fully understands the story, can they appreciate or properly experience um, the Senuhima? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um... It's not always necessary to understand very well the story or uh, a story of the uh, no play. But you can, if you uh, watch the movement, a dance of the uh, uh, performer uh, attentively, you can understand uh, the how to say the movement, emotion inside emotion of the performers. So. Um, it's very slow, and sometimes people think that it's very boring. But if you understand the movement and you can synchronize, not synchronize, you know, uh, this, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the synchronize resonate with the movement of performer, you feel something like uh, something inside happens uh, in the excitement, in the movement happens in, 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 your, in your body. So, um, and uh, uh, the role of audi the audience, it is interesting because um, the good performer, excellent performer is said that uh, they are dancing in the net of gaze of the audience. So uh, the performer and the, uh, the audience is like uh, half around. Wow. So um, and there are uh, many people um, uh, what is the performers uh, 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 from the wide range, wide range. So the, their gaze is like a spider net. So, um, and the performer said, that we are dancing on the net of the spider. So um, it is an interesting experience. I can't experience it by my own. So, and the, they said uh, they are standing uh, on the on the web web the web of gaze, so it is very interesting. So gaze uh, pop, uh, the gaze of the role of the gaze of pop, uh, audience uh, plays important role the movement of the performer. Of course, a perform a performer uh, do the decided way decided move. There's a not, uh, there are no improv, uh, in no play, but their performance, the quality of their performance depend on uh, uh, audience's case. So it is interesting. I, I can't analyze this relationship very clearly. Mm. Um, I need more research on not, not only research experience or something like that. It's needed to understand this experience of the excellent performer. Mm. It's not a, a so-called uh, masters, master no performers uh, world. Mm. You, you can yeah. imagine, I mean, it's a fascinating notion and it's a really interesting um, metaphor, the, the web of gaze. Um, yes. And as you said, it, it brings to mind that the notion when you, in your slides, you talked about the importance that um, the master no performer integrates all of the various strands of the story yes, and the yes. audience and the action into a single coherent yes, exactly, thing. Exactly. Um, yes, you're and, right. And the 
the, the gaze from so many angles must be um, yes. immensely challenging. It's yes, a, yes. an extraordinary notion. Yes. Yes, you, you are right. Um, yes. Yeah. That I want to say that. Yes. It's, um, yeah. So uh, I, I, I sort of appreciate our, our time is marching on. Um, yes. So I will uh, I'll just check, I guess, is I want to certainly say thank you very much. There's a, a lot of rich um, ideas and and un understandings here um, that I think will uh, be very productive and fruitful in commitment to and unpacking the notion of the the flow the world as a flow of currents is uh, a particularly useful one and I think it's an exciting idea um, that I, I look forward to reading more about um, I guess is there is there anything else or an, any final points you wanted to make before we finish up or um, uh, okay yes um, I think uh, now uh, philosophy of mind and the philosophy of uh, uh, cognitive science uh, became too interested in uh, human performance and technique. Mm -hmm. I think um, it is be better to, to focus on uh, classical technique of arts, not only uh, no play, but uh, you know, there are many classical art in, in many countries, in, in each country. So, uh, and also I want to focus on the uh, sports performance also, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, as a technique of making some uh, making products, that is my uh, that is very interesting for us uh, to un to understand the uh, uh, the mind and the body relationship. So we are going to uh, we we are going to develop this kind of uh, embodiment where uh, on the performance and. Uh, embodiment in, in, in technique and the cultural um, behavior. For example, uh, our ordinary, uh, or, uh, our ordinary uh, act, uh, doing things like uh, shake hands, uh, bow or some uh, contact with us. It's also a kind of a technique, right? Mm. So we can, we can, we can understand the uh, how mind and body interact uh, in an ordinary habit or ordinary uh, custom of, bo uh, uh, of body movement. So now, uh, yes, <laughs> so this is my, uh, my interest and also my group of face body studies uh, studying on this point, cultural embodiment. That it, it does sound like a, a very rich and um, fulfilling and satisfying area of research, all right. And it certainly, I think, it, it yeah. promises to be very fruitful and. and really <laughs> Sorry for my poor English. <laughs> Not at all. No, it, it's uh, <laughs> superb. Um, yeah. So I will say thank you very much for presenting. Thank, you very, thank you very for much for inviting me. Our, our our first ENSO of 2022, and. Um, we will bring the session to a close and uh, hopefully we will see if you're uh, watching we will see you next month for another ENSO seminar. Thank you. Now we have uh, we have ended the live stream so thank you very um, much. <laughs>